Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Robertson bringing you all a very special video this festive season. As many of you have already seen, especially from some of my previous videos where I featured Stormworks Build and Rescue, I have a small collection of creations that I use during my own career survival playthroughs. One or two of them were made by myself, but the majority of them tend to be ones that I've downloaded from the Steam Workshop and edited for personal use. Just like the impressive Tilt Rotor VTOL featured in this clip, made by the talented content creator who goes by the name of Lorgs. In most cases, the changes I've made to the vehicles I've downloaded are mainly to bring them up to date with the most current version of the game, such as by replacing all the deprecated gearboxes and radars with the newer versions, as well as adding modular engines and the new rescue equipment that just weren't available back in the day. Sadly, some, but not all of the vehicles I've downloaded appear to have been abandoned by the original creator, who has either gone on to a different project or in some cases has left the content creation scene entirely. Then you have the other creations that, while they look good, they tend to be more about form than functionality, which is a shame as some of them have great potential, but were abandoned either shortly after their initial release, or were only given a few updates before the author went on to release something new. In those instances, I've taken their half a job, and not only have I updated it, I've also done away with a lot of the greebling, moving parts, and other unnecessary cosmetic features that either slow the game down horribly, and cause extra lag in multiplayer, or just don't play well with the Stormworks physics and ultimately end up being something of a liability during play. Yes, I'm talking about those sliding doors again, especially the ones that don't lock and seal and end up damaging the main body of the vehicle at high speeds or during tight turns. I've also cleaned up a lot of the microcontrollers, added navmap GPS autopilots where required, new components that have a use in search and rescue, and in the case of the smaller VTOLs and helicopters, I've replaced the wheels with skids and sometimes even a few mag all and electrical connectors, which enables them to safely land on the moving heli decks of the hospital ships without fear of them slipping about and sliding off into the sea. Which sadly remains an issue even with the wheel type and grip set to the maximum available in the game. But to be fair, that tends to be due to the somewhat wonky Stormworks physics rather than an oversight on behalf of the content creator themselves. As in most cases, they were only copying something that they'd seen and been inspired by from either real life or a sci-fi show that probably wouldn't have those problems. As you can see from the current clip that's playing right now, not only have I added a manual override to this VTOL's autopilot speed and rotor tilt controls, I've also attached some ISO cargo connectors to the underside, essentially turning it into a carry-all as well as a search and rescue VTOL. I've swapped the jet engines around for a pair of modular diesel engines instead, which, while slightly slower, still give it an impressive 140 knot cruise speed and 160 knots at full power. And more importantly, it gives it an incredible range of over 400 kilometers. And when you combine this with the cheaper cost in fuel, it makes it an excellent choice in career mode, especially up in the Arctic, where the cost of purchasing more fuel can be quite extortionate. As well as this VTOL and a few other aircraft, I've also updated two of the offshore patrol vessels that were made by Spider, mainly the Puma Mark III and the Condor Mark I. Now, I won't go into too much detail about them here, as I've released two whole videos where I go into extensive detail regarding the changes I've made, as well as the replacement helicopter and rib that I added to it. And that's RHIB, by the way, not RIB, as someone thought I was referring to a part of the human anatomy in my last video, but instead I am referring to that little orange motorboat that sits at the back and which now doesn't go up in flames whenever you switch the engines on. Now, some of you may recognise this creation. That's correct, this is the VT-30 Collarbur by White Noise, one of the very talented New Key Armed Forces team who frequently release new content on the Steam Workshop. This hidden gem was released back in June, I believe it was, but sadly, it hasn't been updated since. So, after I got my mitts on it, I was pleased to discover that it fits perfectly inside the Condor's hangar bay. So, after replacing the undercarriage with landing skids, adding more rescue equipment, including a defibrillator, an autopilot, new radar and some handles around the outside to make it easier to board when hovering over the ocean, I've turned this into the HV-30B Search and Rescue VTOL. 
which is an excellent high-end replacement for the little red MD500 that I normally use along with the Condor. But Captain Robertson, I hear you say, why are you telling us all this? Well, dear viewers, the reason why is because as a very special Christmas present to all my followers, subscribers, and yes, even you lowly viewers out there that just watch my videos but who actually still play Stormworks, you'll be pleased to hear that I've just released all of these edited creations, or rather my most favourite ones, for you all to download online. But be warned that this is on the express condition that, unless you are the original content creator, you are only allowed to use these for personal use and are not allowed to upload these to the Steam Workshop under any circumstances. You can find a link to download these in the description below, but just remember that this will be a time-limited opportunity as I fully intend to take the file down in the new year. But until then, Merry Christmas everyone! Oh, and before I forget, remember to stay tuned for the next episode of Space Engineers Return to Earth, as well as a Stormworks Christmas special based on a scenario that I'll be playing created for me by the very talented Jagged Mike. So, until the next video, this is Captain Robertson, signing off.